Hey guys, today I got a special guest from New York. He's one of the guys from way back. He's about two generations behind me. Uh, his name is Jimmy Calamandria, good friend, good guy. He interests me a lot and I wanted to talk to him. You know the stories when I was young and I was in the rampers and you know a lot of the stories about the rampers. You're even going to hear more of them. These guys here were from Beth Avenue. They were called the Beth Beach guys. They had stories very, very similar to the rampers. That neighborhood, like I told you, was infested with the mafia. And guys, young guys, when they grew up, they uh, joined gangs and eventually became in the mafia. And Jimmy's no different than that. Now, I think there's some of my experiences that actually come into your life. You were at Tally's a couple of times, right? When you were yes. younger? I used to visit Tally's with Georgia Chico mm -hmm. on Tuesday nights. I thought that's where I knew you, but I wasn't 100% sure. And I uh, ran into you a couple of times in the neighborhood, stuff like that. You were one of the guys uh, that ran the neighborhood at the time when I was a kid. Well, you said that um, you bought me a bottle of champagne. I don't really remember the details of that, but uh, I think you're fucking lying, bro. I don't remember <laughs> no fucking champagne. You're lying, motherfucker. That was uh, 1988. At that time, I think uh, you were meeting Tommy Karate. We were on the corner yes. on Bay 23rd, me and my friends. Right. And we sent you over a bottle of champagne from the boys from Bay 23rd. Right, right. And I recall that I wasn't sure. But, yeah, that, that's... We were meeting with Tommy Karate at the time. Yes. Right, right. A couple of people sent me messages about you, and that's another reason why I had you here today. Plus, I hear you got a lot of fucking money, so <laughs> I brought you here so I could shake you down a little bit. <laughs> So explain a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from the same neighborhood as you, Sammy, Bath Avenue, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. I grew up on Bath Avenue all my life. As you know, our neighborhood was a recruitment center for young kids. And uh, we were on record with uh, the Bonanno crime family. And uh, what we did was we committed crimes at a young age, whether it was bank robberies, uh, stealing cars, robbing homes, and then eventually committing murders. We did things for the families. We also did some personal murders for ourselves. Before I went to prison in 1990, I heard of them. I knew some of them, but their reputation preceded them. They were tough. They were honorable. There was quite a few of them. I told you one time that and the ramp is we all did this tattoo. I guess it was a thing that everybody did. I had this little diamond on my center of my chest. And uh, some of the main rampers had that. Jimmy's guys had tattoos. And I guess he could explain that better than me. So our gang was the Beth Avenue crew. Our leader was Paulie Galino. What we did was we all got numbers on our legs, on our ankles. He was the number one. I was number two. Tommy Reynolds was number three. Fabrizio was number four. Then we had two other guys that were Paulie Galino's goons. Uh, Anthony Gonzalez was number six. Mikey Yamin was number five. And then eventually we got Joey Calco. He was number seven. But in the course of this time, you know, we were committing crimes. Uh, going back from when we were kids. And then eventually, I went away for bank robbery. And then when I, was, when I went away, my best friend ended up killing my other friend. Well, I, I understand that story. I heard that story. I knew what happened in that story. He wanted to become a made guy. Anthony Spiro was the person who had a family. And they had words. He pushed Anthony, roughed him up a little bit in this conversation and in the mafia, as you know now, he literally signed his death certificate. Yes. So while you were away, 
how did it actually occur? Who got orders and what happened? Well, what happened was we were having uh, problems with some kids from the other neighborhoods. And uh, we were in a little trouble. Paulie G wanted to uh, retaliate on these kids. And uh, he went to Anthony Sparrow. He wasn't happy with Sparrow. Uh, he had a conversation with Anthony Sparrow. And uh, he ended up pushing him. And uh, that's when he signed his death certificate. And uh, my own friends uh, knocked on his door one day and uh, ended up killing him. Well, it must have been a nightmare then. You were young, you were growing up, you got all these tattoos. It was you guys against the world. I know that feeling. I know I went through the same exact thing. But later on, I got to understand.